Hi Libra, welcome to your general reading for the first half of October. Well, this may be just October. I'm thinking about adding new readings, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So thank you for coming and watching your October general reading. It's Mary, it's Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, Libra Pass playlists, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. The channel it really helps the channel out to help it grow, flourish, get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you so much for being a part of that. It really means a lot to me. So this is for Libra. So I may be adding um, spirit messages, oracle reading for every sign per month, and also a singles reading who's coming towards me, which will be like who, when, where, how type thing for singles. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment below. And I may be adding those in October, so you'll get four, still four readings, but just one general, one love connection, one spirit message oracle reading, and then one um, for singles who's coming towards me type reading. So let me know how, how you would like that and what you think. Or if you like the format I have now, I can still do that. So let me know. Okay, so this is Libra general reading. I will read it as a general reading, but if you could fit it into your life, any way, shape, or form other than general, then please do so. Okay, and you may I may actually pick up a story on somebody around you, not actually you. So I don't know why Spirit told me to say that. So for some of you, I may pick up a story line on somebody that's going through something around you and not actually you, but you're a part of their life, so it affects you. Okay, so I don't know, that may mean something for somebody. We'll see what happens here. So for Libra, see what we get here. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. It's a zodiac oracle. We could get a planet sign element energy. We'll see how that reflects on your reading. Libra general reading. I'm just going to say for October. <laughs> All right, we have Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, or you could have it in your chart, or somebody could have it in their chart. Center. We'll see how that plays into your reading. Pisces does represent the moon in the tarot, which is about secrets and not seeing things clearly, that type of energy. So I don't know if that means anything. Or some of you could actually have a Pisces around you in some way, friend, co-worker, um, family member. All right. Or it can be, you know, in a love situation, but I will read this general, so like I said, but you can fit it any way you see fit. Alrighty. Pisces. Maybe dealing with Pisces, some of you. I don't know why I said Pisces, but Libra. Libra. Let's see. What message do we have for Libra? What's going on with Libra in October spirit, please, for this general reading? Thank you so much. What's going on with Libra? In October, one card to start. Be decisive. Hmm. So you may need to make a decision about something here. Be decisive. Be you have to be clear and decisive, and perhaps make a decision about something. Correct your mistakes. So some of you may have to make a decision to correct your mistakes. I don't know. Let's see what's on the bottom here. And claim your art. So this is, you know, about getting into what you love to do. It can be anything. It can be something artistic or it doesn't have to be. This could be as simple as getting back into reading books, getting back to listening to music, uh, whatever you're passionate about, you enjoy in life, whether it's art related or not. I take that as you probably need to get back into doing that. Or if there's some sort of talent that you have, that you haven't practiced in a long time, that really brings you like peace, harmony. Um, you probably need to like get back into that for some of you. All right, so let's see what's going on. What is going on for you, Libra? So it's kind of a weird message, but maybe some of you uh, made the mistake of not 
following your life path in whatever talent you have. And now is the time to be really decisive on if you want to move forward in this certain area that you made the mistake of not following your true life's calling in uh, before. So that may be a message for some of you. All right, so what's going on with Libra? Let's get some cards here. Get some energy for Libra. First half of October. Maybe some of you are music musicians. I don't know. I was just showing somebody playing a guitar. I, I don't know, singing, playing a guitar, um, maybe writing music, songs, lyrics. That's way too many. Oh, this one wants to come out. The King of Wands. So, again, I had talked about from the beginning here doing something you felt passionate about early in life or from before that you made the mistake of not following. The King of Wands is a fiery, passionate energy here. They go after what they want with a lot of success, victory, and determination. And they're very passionate about what they do. Fire energy here. So it could be just the energy, but that is Leo Sagittarius. doesn't have to be. That's just the energy, king or queen. Wow. Okay. So I just want to look at the image. I didn't want to miss anything. So let's get a few more. Um, maybe even some of you play drums. I don't know. I'm just getting these weird like images of someone playing guitar, someone playing drums. All right. Maybe a band. Maybe you know you wanted to have a band when you were younger for some of you. The Six of Pentacles. So this is balance, earth energy. <sighs> Equal give and take, balance. So let's get one more. I feel like whatever you did before that you were very passionate about, that you made this mistake of not following that passionate desire that, you know, fire in your belly with that whatever you did before really brought you a lot of balance really I don't know really uh, brought you like tranquility and as I say that temperance comes out these are two cards of balance wow this is like the minor and the major of the same thing Sagittarius energy here with temperance so again with the balance peace harmony um, type of energy healing energy it's a reuniting energy. Maybe you're going to reunite with a band that you had or something. <laughs> reuniting with something here um, from the past brought you a lot of peace, harmony, and balance. You were very passionate about it. I think you made a mistake. This is getting specific, so this may not be for everybody. If it, if it doesn't have to be, the main message is that you made the mistake of not following your true heart's passion and desire in... Um, something that really brought you peace, harmony, and balance. And you made the mistake of not following that. And now is the time to be decisive if you want to follow now on that life path. Because so now we have the Nine of Swords. So this is stress, worry, anxiety, fear. So maybe you have some fears about this. You know, maybe, maybe I can't do it now. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe I'm not supposed to do it. You know, this is just being like all caught up and just having fear, worry, stress, anxiety. The Nine of Swords energy. So let's get one more. Let's get one more for your energy. The Tower. So, you know, this is a big shake-up, breakdown, aha moment, epiphany. So, you know, maybe something happened, whatever you're doing in life here. There was just a major Tower moment, a disruption uh, here that really broke things down for you and you decided, you know, it just brought a lot of stress and anxiety and you're like, you know, I don't need this anymore. So now I just want to follow my true life's calling. Wow. We have Mars energy there, which is about being, uh, having confidence, being courageous, brave and having that passion like the king of wands there. All right, so let's see what your actual situation is here, Libra. This could be anything. I'm getting like musician for some band, playing in a band or something like that. Because you see, you know, he almost looks like he's playing. It's got a sword and a shield. But if you kind of use your imagination, it looks like, you know, holding up a guitar, playing a guitar. <laughs> 
So um, that's just for some of you. Some of you is now you just really want to uh, think about, make that final decision to now go after your true life's calling that you made the mistake of not following before. All right, so let's get your actual situation now for Libra. So we have the Princess of Wands. Wow, so we have the Princess of Wands. So this is offers coming in, communication, offers coming in, going out. So maybe you're sending out messages about, you know, now going on your life's path you know, messages to people or getting back in contact with people that you need to get back in contact with and having that fiery, passionate communication about this new and exciting endeavor, new direction you want to follow. And then also here we have the two of pentacles. So, you know, juggling things around, you know, juggling around, how do I do this? How do I go about this? I want to get back into this. What do I need to do? Juggling around your finances, your thoughts, things in life, just juggling juggling it all around now but you do have balance there so two cards of balance so i feel like you either you know we're in that period of finding your balance and now you have your balance or you will find it because you have a lot of balance cards there but then you have judgment here so this is resurrection of something from the past life doing a life review like i want to follow my life's calling and making that final judgment decision judgment call you did your life review. Like, I don't want to be on the path I'm on forever here. So resurrecting your life's passion from the past. All right, so let's get two more cards. So we have, wow, the seven of wands, fire energy. So, you know, standing up for yourself, you know, not backing down. And two sevens here. So sevens are divinely guided energy, a spiritual, divine spiritual guiding energy. So this is, I feel you're on the right path, even though seven of swords is kind of like, I just got to get out. I don't care. I'm just going to get away, run away, get out, sneak away. I don't care how I do it. Kind of a sneaky energy. And now you have the seven of wands, which is being defensive on guard, standing up for yourself, not backing down. So I feel like here, you know, maybe you had deceit and lies around you here, um, and that's why you had to defend yourself, whatever situation you were in before. That's why you had the tower moment there. Um, just very, you know, a lot of sneaky energy around you, untrustworthy energy, and being on guard, having to protect yourself, defend yourself. And then the tower moment came and you're like, you know what? I just had enough. Because the tower is now, I put it right under the seven of swords, which is that sneaky, untrustworthy energy, which caused this tower moment, which caused you to do this life review and say, you know what? I think I need to change my course, my direction, my path. It's time to follow my true heart and soul's calling and making decisive with the judgment card, being decisive and making that final judgment call. Wow. All right, so Libra, let's see what your advice is. Let's see what your advice is in this situation moving forward. What advice do we have for Libra moving forward? The magician and the hermit, wow. So. Two major arcana. The magician here in the hermit is Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. And the magician is Gemini and Virgo. So this is about manifesting your brand new beginning. But you need to take time to think and contemplate, do the work you need to do to manifest this new beginning. With the hermit energy, does a lot of introspective work, uh, soul searching, taking time alone to figure things out. So you really need to do the work and the thinking and the pro whole process you need to do. But you can manifest. The one here is about a brand new beginning. So you can manifest this brand new beginning. Wow. That's your advice. So let's get a few more for your advice. Wow. So, 
We have the Prince of Wands, which I believe is the, that is the Knight of Wands. Fire energy again. So this is taking action. So your advice is you will take action to all this passionate new beginning that you want and manifesting that. But, you know, taking time for yourself to fully understand everything you need to know and everything you need to do first before you manifest it forward. And then this is you taking that passionate action forward and manifesting this for yourself. And what are you manifesting? A brand new passionate beginning, citing new endeavor here, a new, be new opportunity, new beginning, very fiery, passionate, moving forward energy again to this new beginning. Something creative. And we do have art here. Claim your art. And a creative new beginning with the Ace of Wands. So some of you, it will be something in the artistic world. Some of you, it won't be. It'll just be following your heart's desire, passion, what you've wanted to do maybe your whole life. And it could be simple as, you know getting out of a nine to five like accounting job and like being you know what i always wanted to be an rn I'm finally going for it so i mean it can be anything here just a matter of really now following your passionate desires and going for it and doing the work necessary and manifesting it wow okay correcting that mistake that you made <clears throat> years ago of not following that dream so let's see what's your, yep, Ten of Swords here. So you're ending a cycle, the Ten of Swords, painful, painful, hurtful ending. So wherever you were before, I feel with the tower and all that, you know, sneaky, uh, untrustworthy energy here, there, there's the ending of that. No more of that painful, hurtful, sneaky kind of energy. No more. It's an ending, completion. And when you have a completion our completion you always have a new beginning and there's your passionate new beginning so all right so let's get a few more to clarify your outcome all right so we have the nine of cups and the hanged man which is basically almost the same thing for your advice nine of cups is water and the hanged man is cancer pisces so there's that pisces energy coming in now Cancer Pisces, hang man, that's hanging back, you know, not taking any action just yet, just thinking about things, thinking, contemplating, seeing things from all perspective, just kind of going with the flow, because you will have your dreams and wishes come true with the Nine of Pentacles, happiness, joy, and being fulfilled and dreams coming true. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck strength so you know this is having the strength willpower being strong courageous and brave leo energy here moving forward four of cups yeah definitely feeling bored and not happy where you were before whatever you were doing before definitely not feeling happy in that situation bored hierophant you know you were you stay committed you know you knew you you know that was what you were doing so the hierophant is about commitment so you're very committed to it even though you were bored and unhappy you know you did what you needed to do and you were very committed in doing the work that you had to do it's taurus energy so you will have this ace of wands brand new beginning to the ten of pentacles here growth abundance you know happy home and family life being abundant in all ways, the Ten of Pentacles energy. It's good energy. And now the Ace of Pentacles. So now you have the Ace of Wands. So you will have this new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles, and build that firm foundation of this new beginning too. You'll go from one pentacle to ten pentacles. You'll always be abundant, successful. And as I said that, the sun energy. Happiness, joy, success, victory with the sun. Everything, everything positive with the sun. And then the world. And I had said that here, of old ending a cycle, painful cycle here, and starting a new cycle with the world energy, earth energy here. And leaping in, after the world comes the fool. You leap in and take a new leap of faith. Jump right in, both feet. Trusting everything will be fine. Resetting at zero. Having that new beginning. Yep, new beginning. A new chapter starting with the world. Success, victory, enlightenment, healing success and victory happy home and family 
stable new beginning here will lead you to maximum growth and abundance being very committed even though you were bored where you were before you were still committed and now you have the strength willpower to go and follow your destiny wow so i just want to put this so you can see all right so let's get some extra messages for you Extra messages for Libra. Extra messages for Libra. Extra. So I do see here ending up a cycle, starting a new cycle, finally correcting that mistake and following your true heart's desire and passion and being very successful, abundant, being very passionate about this moving forward and making that final judgment call to do so. All right. Libra. What other messages do we have for Libra? Whoa. Two here. So we got two. Wow, we got two ear cards here. We got Queen of Winter, experienced, self sufficient, brilliant, funny, leopard. All your life experiences have prepared you for this moment of truth. It's time to declutter your home, clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore and disengage from people who create more drama than happiness. And we have that there with the Seven of Swords and the Tower. You're cleaning up your act and you're moving on and you're standing with truth and clarity. With the Queen of Swords energy, air energy. And then we have the Two of Winter, Dash Hound Dog. Procrastination and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you are torn between your own desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. Exactly. So making a, you know, this can be about in being indecisive about making decisions, but I see here that, you know, you need to make this judgment call, this decision with be decisive and the two of winter. Two of winter is about being indecisive and unable to make a decision. You need to make a decision. But you, I feel you will be because you do have judgment there, which is about making a decision. So let's see if there's any other messages for Libra. Libra. Any other messages for Libra? We got two more. What do we have here? The Six of Summer. Well, we got two water here. Princess of Summer. Page of Summer and the Six of Summer. So Princess of Summer here. A sensitive, kind, open-hearted, inexperienced, dare. You can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or close, or close platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. Maybe that's how that, this gets going. You know, you go to a social event and you run into somebody from your past and it starts the ignition of this whole journey. Six of Summer. Again, this is someone from your past. Goose, the love in... The love and care of children could become an important part of your life, or people from your childhood may return to it. Old memories can be healed, or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived. Wow. So this definitely could be, you know, you run into somebody that you've known childhood, and all of a sudden it sparks this whole new uh, journey for you. And finally, you know, you finally make that decision. And what do we have here? We have the Prince of Autumn, Seahorse. It is important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. And I had that had that twice here with the Hangman and the Hermit. It's about making detailed plans, thinking, contemplating, and doing that inner journey work before starting any new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, then you will take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. And that's with the Magician. Prince of Autumn, trustworthy, dedicated, protective, funny. This is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work, slow, steady growth for your Ten of Pentacles moving forward for the future. And there's your brand new beginning again. Now you have the Ace of Winter. So you had the Ace of, what did you have here? You had the Ace of Wands, I believe, and you had another ace I 
Oh, well, I thought you had two aces here, but I think you did. You have the ace of pentacles and I think the ace of wands, right? So now you have the ace of swords. Panda, implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenge will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. So there's another brand new beginning for you. Wow. So I'm pretty sure we had, yeah, the ace of wands there. And I thought we had the, um, maybe it's here. I thought we had the ace of, another ace somewhere. Ten of pentacles. Yeah, ace of pentacles. So you have three aces here. So, yep, three aces of new beginnings. So keep going uh, with this decision here. And I see growth, abundance, prosperity, new beginnings all over the place. Going in a much better place for you, Libra. Okay, Libra, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlists and maybe something that will resonate for you. I would say disregard, disregard the dates. If you find a title that resonates for you, I say watch it anyway. And good luck to you here in your situation. If you do like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month for every sign, so don't miss out on that. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel... As with the sun energy is to always, always shine your light.